story number two. Zuck makes the metaverse hot again. Theo. Zuck is still on this metaverse thing, and he is coming back with some ideas, some heat, some product. He even resurrected an old video from, what was it, 2012 or something like that, where he brought out his whole idea of AI and what it could do. He's, yeah, I was on this stuff way back then. Check that out. And then a couple of days later, he's at, now check this out. He did, does this interview with Lex Friedman's a popular guy. He talks to Elon Musk, a lot of tech heads, get in, gets into deep conversations. Good yeah. Three hours long conversations. Yeah, I was about to say, Joe Rogan, who's not funny and very scientific, if you can imagine that. Or maybe that's what you think Joe Rogan is already. Anyway, so he gets on this podcast, but instead of doing it in person like they normally do, they did it over VR. And the videos that they're putting out start by showing you the VR of Lex Friedman saying, Hi, I'm Lex Friedman. This is the podcast. Da-da. And everybody thought it was really Lex Friedman. It was a 3D generated image of him in Zuck's metaverse before they had their conversation. So they looked at him, then they looked over at Zuck, and they're like, yeah, we're not in the same room or anything. This is a VR construction a construct. So they both had VR headsets on. One, one person was in Austin, the other person was somewhere else, California. And it looked just like... It looked really good. So this is pumping Zuck's new VR helmet. This is pumping the metaverse and this new technology. And I don't know if you've seen the images, but it looks pretty good. Okay. So Mr. Benja, you read critical about products and how things look. You thought it would look good. So I haven't seen it yet. So maybe I'll check it later. I'm just rolling my eyes because the one success he's had legitimately without having to buy it or... or swindle people out of selling it to them like ig uh, instagram was threads what's going on with threads that was legitimately something that was a success and i don't hear that much about it and he's going back to the metaverse which is fine he's named his, his whole company meta and they he's trying to still talk about ai and all that stuff but he has threads he has got some stuff with ai but this metaverse man why can't i quit you what what is going on that's funny I heard about this story on threads. <laughs> I don't know. The algorithm just seems to like talking about Zuck in the metaverse. It's, it's just happening that mm, way right now. I wonder how that works. <laughs> Amazing. I'm looking at my phone right now. Yeah, it's still there. But yeah. no, I think this is legitimately cool technology. I, I sent it around to a few people and they were just like, oh, wow. Okay. It's, it's actually interesting. What's going on here? This version of the metaverse, it doesn't look like the Nintendo characters where you have your, your big lollipop people with the big heads and skinny body. It's okay. Here's a completely different take on it. Here's something we can use for businesses. And actually it might end up looking like, you ever see one of those movies like V for Vendetta, where you have all the guys in the dark room and the floating heads and you just see their chest and the bus shot of this floating evil head. That's what this reminds me of where you just have people floating in the dark but i mean you're not wrong mr benja because i was the more i'm thinking about it we just talked about it content is inc these creators need to create more and more stuff to stay relevant in their industry if you're a, a coach or you're a whatever you want to have content constantly out there so you can build this audience and be oversubscribed like we talked about earlier right and this AI metaverse stuff could absolutely do that, right? They've already had the, uh, these tools like PyCastle and other AI tools to replicate your voice. They already have AI image or a avatars, AI avatars that can emulate customer success service. So why can't they just AI your face and your voice? And then all you got to do is get some, v some VAs, the virtual assistants, or even, heck, AI to create content, write it up. And then now you got constant content going 24 seven. Yeah. Almost like that NPC character we talked about, Pinky, that right, that's just constantly going yeah. out to, to, get, to your audience, right? Just, and you just say, Hey, talk about three things, building your brand, growing your social media presence and personal development. And boom, it's sending you content 24 seven and you do nothing. I can see that happen. That's, I think that's absolutely what's going to happen. 
Because think about it. This is a lot. I'm putting a lot of content out there now and I have a team and all this stuff. But what if I could just get AI to do all that for me, push a button? So if Zuck has figured this out to make this look good, that you're impressed with it, then there, there may be some, I could absolutely see IG just F cap cut. We got all this stuff for you, man. We, we create your image and your, your voice. Just go with us. Forget cap cut. Forget all these other stuff. Dog, we're, we're going to jump into AI in the next story. But I, this, Zuck is, is back. He, he's here, man, with the Instagram love that he's getting, the threads. For the few people who are using it, it's not like a lot of people, but the people who are really in there using it, I can start to see these clusters of people who really like threads and are having these great conversations. They're there. And Facebook hasn't really done anything massive lately. Uh, but this AI play, I think, is really, not AI, VR play is really going to push them into that next era. And I think, I'm just saying, Metaverse is hot again after this. See, yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we, 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 uh, yeah, we will. Um, will, will, will it beat out what Apple's got going on? What's, what's Google hiding? I don't know. Um, but somebody's getting this VR thing together, and I don't know. It might be kind of cool. Love it, love it. Do you really? It don't sound All like right. you love. It. I know, I know, guys. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> this something popped up. So. On the podcast, that's never good. But yeah, we're going to keep it moving now. 